at some programming code today, some CSS. This is a, a blog post I did, a marijuana, how is a marijuana effective for Tourette syndrome symptoms. I wrote up a whole report on it and everything, a white paper. And uh, along with the download for the academic uh, white paper, I made a table of contents format in CSS. And what we're trying to do now is basically go in and use Flexbox to get these things to line up. Let's see if I can disable something to show you what it used to look like. If I just uh, take this guy out real quick, I think you'll see. Take that class out. Bada bing. This is what it looked like before. In just regular CSS, I couldn't seem to get it to in a responsive way. But the contents over here and the download image with the download button. Notice the way it is right now. In this way, the download button is centered above the image, which is what it's supposed to be. And the table of contents is, is good, but it's supposed to be over here. So, you know, we're thinking like floated or something. It should be located over here. And unfortunately, floating uh, didn't work when I tried it before. So <clears throat> now we're going to try Flexbox. And this is really interesting. I got these flexed a little bit. Notice that the button moved to below the image. Why did it do that? So what we're going to do is we're going to troubleshoot this a little bit. See what we're working with. Okay. And because I got this little... How do we do that? This guy. Let's put that on the side. No. Put it on the other side. Yeah, we'll put it on the other side. I don't usually use it over here, but you know, since this video is here, I have to adapt. And I'm a very adaptable guy. All right. So, first thing we need to do is I know you can. In grid, you can go and do order and stuff. We're not going to mess around to that level. Um, I'm just going to go in and rearrange these. So let's go here. Notice now it's a different, different. Here we go. All right. Notice I've got this in a wrapper a class of EHW contents. Two columns. So all we need to do is move the button. Okay. Below the content. I'll just make it a little clearer that this is the end of the contents. Okay, save it, and then we'll go over. Okay, so we've got our button over here. We've got our contents over here. Things are looking good. We want to maybe make this a little bit Make this a little bit bigger. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I can drag it. All right, now all we just need to figure out why that button is out of where it's supposed to be. Okay, so the button is relative. What if I undo? No, not absolute. like that. Okay. And then what if I make it mobile? Will it still be where it's supposed to be? Okay. So in the mobile it changes, but 
really I need to change the flex for that one anyway. I'll just leave that for now. Looking pretty good. I do right? Yeah, I can do right because I'm on the right. Did that do anything? Yeah. Do. All right, so this is really hacky, but all I'm trying to do really is get this button centered under this. So it is, and Probably not the best solution, but it works for now. So let's see what we got here. GG. I need to just go edit GG. Or. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go edit GG. Let me over here. Close out of this guy. Guys. Do edit with code editor. And that button. Okay. Control F to cert. And and there we go. We're going to go ahead and no. Come down here, and then what did it say? Right minus 25. Okay. Right minus 25%. Now we'll save it, and we'll see what we got. Bada bing, bada boom. So let's go ahead and drop that out. Make sure we've still got what we need. Yes. And I'm going to take out the, the background. We don't need that Alice Blue anymore. Where did I put that? Put that in a different file, the main style. Take that out. Alice Blue, delete. Is that delete? That is delete. I need backspace. Okay. Save it. Go back. Oh, let me take the border out too. Forgot about that. Those were just uh, troubleshooting aids so I could see what I was working on. And we're just re reloading right now. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we've got the table of contents seemingly floated right next to the download with a uh, with Flexbox. So thank you for watching. This was a video on editing CSS on my WordPress website, ericharpery.com. Have a great day.